Okay, gang, we're so close to the finish line for alkenes. Two more reactions, neither require mechanisms. They're super simple, I promise. Okay, so I don't really have a title for this, so I guess we're just gonna kind of jump right into it. So let's just say I gave you guys, again, cyclohexene. If, again, this is just like a reaction you need to memorize, no mechanism required, just know it. So if I were to throw in and personally, I never thought I'd use this element on the periodic table. Osmium tetroxide, right? OS for osmium, four oxygens, that's where the tetra, tetroxide comes from. A little throwback to the naming prefixes. And a second step of H2S, it's like a workup acid. Again, no mechanisms, so don't worry about it. Here's what we kind of achieve. We add two alcohols across our double bond, right? So essentially what this reaction accomplishes is it takes both carbons in the double bond and it inserts OH across both of them, right? But here's the catch. There's one thing you have to remember about this, and you can probably tell from the wedges I just drew. This reaction, and I have this on the guide, is a syn addition, right? So if stereochemistry is a factor, Right, like it is on a ring because we can either be above the, the ring or below the ring when you have two groups that you're comparing. They have to be on the same side. It doesn't matter if they're two wedges. It doesn't matter if I have them be two dashes, but it's a sin addition. Sin, cis, same side, right? All mean the same thing. So I have some problems on the worksheet that kind of highlights this, but the best part is that's all there is to this reaction. As long as you can remember that if you either need to have, you know, a syn addition occur, you need two alcohols on the same side of a structure, or let's just say you're completing the reaction, just put that perspective there, right? Give them the same side of wherever you're adding them to on the carbons part of a double bond. Okay, so that is osmium tetroxide in a nutshell, right? Just remember first step of OSO4, second step of H2S. We have one more reaction to do in this chapter, and it's called ozonolysis. Kind of sounds badass. Kind of is. So, let's get on it.